Hey guys, day six of Make Madness. Um, before I show you today's project, I wanted to catch up with you about um, the project from yesterday, which was the wool dryer balls. And I, after I finished the video last night, I went and I popped them into super hot uh, washing cycle and then while they were in the nylons like I showed you and then promptly pop, pop them into the dryer and and let them go for a full drying cycle at the highest heat we could get and darn it if they didn't felt isn't that awesome look at that so then I went and I have four of them here <clears throat> then I went and to my essential oils and I picked two scents I picked peppermint and lemon and so I put 10 drops of each oil so I put 10 peppermint on this one 10 on this one 10 lemon and 10 lemon and um, and then this morning I did a load of laundry and popped it in the dryer and it was a normal load for us um, filled a laundry basket your your basic laundry basket so that's about how many clothes I washed it and stuck it in the dryer and I threw in three of these with the clothing and they came out beautifully they came there was no static cling the scent was just amazing um, the dryer balls stayed together in fact they probably felt it even more you can see they're all intact um, they're actually quite um, they, it feels like felt um, and I think over time it'll even get more so and yeah so it worked out beautifully I also our particular dryer when you set the temperature and and I guess the kind of drying that you want to do tumble dry versus fluff and I don't know anyway it has options so you pick those and it determines the amount of time well it's always been a standard hour and 20 minutes so according to the tutorial they said that using these can reduce your drying time by about 25 percent so I dropped the drying time down to an hour and the clothes were dried beautifully they were um, yeah, they were just properly dried, smell wonderful. So I am sold and I'm going to go and use the rest of that skein to make up more of these babies to use. And uh, yeah, so great success, really pleased with this project. So on to today's uh, project in the, in the um, same vein of cleaning and and DIY and all of that I will set these aside here I chose to knit myself a dishcloth now I am participating in the yarn hoarders um, one dishcloth per week uh, for the full year so at the end of the year if you started January 1st you'll have 52 dishcloths to keep give away you know give us gifts and I've used the standard square uh, dishcloth for years and years I use dishcloths dish exclusively for all our cleaning dishes um, cleaning you know washing the floors anything that I need to cloth to clean with I'll use the ones that I've crocheted and I have a, a huge set and they're kind of I've had them for years and years and they're sort of you know they clean beautifully, they've held up beautifully, but they're grungy. And so when she, uh, Amber announced this um, knit along, I thought, oh, I've got to do that. So I've been, I've been doing that. I'm a little behind. I'm not quite um, one for every week yet. But I discovered this pattern while watching a new podcast to me called Joey's Scarf. Um, with Linda Grace and I watched that today and she talked about being a part of this and that she had made a dishcloth using this pattern and it is called the Knit List Lacy Dishcloth and the neat thing about this is it uses one ounce of 
uh, uh, cotton and I use the peaches and cream cotton and I'll link everything that I'm talking to um, I'll write about it in the blog post but I'll also link it down in the down bar for the YouTube video and this used one ounce super easy pattern it took about three hours and um, and yeah and it's um, different different than the the square that I'm used to and obviously I love the the colors the beautiful purple and green and yeah and the variegated look there so so this is day six of make madness I encourage you to try out if you knit or crochet try out dishcloths they are they're wonderful to clean with they launder beautifully um, yeah I swear by them I haven't bought or used a, a kitchen sponge I cannot honestly remember the last time I did so I'm um, really pleased to do this so you guys take care hope you've had a wonderful day and um, I'll see you all here tomorrow for day seven take care bye bye